Sheik, even if they can't kill, that could just get oppressive. Very much so. Now, we certainly know that uh, Blue Team's not going to have any kill trouble, unlike potentially Red Team. Both Marth and Falcon have very many good kill moves. Especially Marth with his tipper. But Sheik's very good at shutting down both of those characters in the close range, so... But working together, they could they could find ways around that pressure. We'll see how good the synergy is here. I think the Sheik players should hit as many buttons as they can. Oh, they're all safe, so yeah, why not? Right now, I think both teams are just kind of feeling each other out. Don't do anything too risky, just kind of see what the other team's all about. Ooh. So we have an early death on uh, Falcon. It Indeed. will definitely be a factor. While Sheik doesn't have very powerful conventional kill moves, both of these characters are very possible to kill off stage at early percents. That is certainly true. Sheik will carry you all the way to the screen, and Sheik's recovery is not bad. And even if you manage to get past her, her recovery itself can kill you. Vanish is powerful. Oh, that was that was a good good setup from a uh, blue team there to take the first Sheik down. And Marth is still holding on to all three stocks. This is a very close game right now. Marth just kind of throwing out F-Smash. Probably that, not a terrible tactic in teams when you can be covered because F-Smash can kill so early in this game. I will say in matchups in which you have uh, two of the same characters, something you often see is that the other team has kind of a hard time keeping track of which one's at which percent. Because right now, they should be going for the light-colored cheek to try to finish that stock off. But you notice they're going after the dark one a lot because it's more convenient. I wonder if that natural confusion of having the same character in twice is working to the red team's favor here. That could potentially be. Oh, that was a bad down air for that cheek. And a, uh, and a great F smash from Marth. Certainly a correct F smash. This Marth player is rolling everywhere, which is a little unsafe. I feel like he's actually getting, putting himself in a lot of bad situations, rolling into the in between the Sheiks, who can just kind of spout out hitboxes whenever. And giving up punishes like on that Sheik down air. Yeah. Because if you're the power team, it's definitely a priority for you to try to hit every punish you get. And honestly, I feel like Marth really just needs to be throwing out a lot more smashes while Falcon's covering him because Marth can Marth can get those early kills. I mean, he can kill from center stage at 50% with the tipper in this game. I will commend Falcon stock tanking. And there's that rage just for a very... I mean, that would have killed without rage, I think, but it was very, very dead with that 200% rage. This is max rage. I think it maxes at 190. Somewhere around there. 223. Falcon tank. So no, this match no, is Falcon actually dead. incredibly even despite the control the Sheiks have had. So that Marth kill could definitely make a very big difference. Oh. Falcon is just going for it, because he knows if he gets one good smash, you could change everything in a heartbeat. You know, one thing that I'm really not seeing very much of here, Marth and Falcon both have incredibly powerful up airs, and I'm not seeing them just being thrown. I feel like liberal application of up air is something that needs to be done a lot more of by both of the members of Blue Team. I actually really like the style Falcon's taking on here. He's throwing out a lot of power moves. He's making sure he can't be killed very easily. Well, stock tanking in a teams is always handy. 
And Falcon is certainly doing that and really taking advantage of just the rage he's building because he's just not dying. So we're really seeing, you know, the weakness of Sheik. Just Sheik has to make strong reads to get kill moves. And you only, as powerful as people talk about Sheik, is you only really see the best Sheiks actually land kills under 100%, which a lot of other top tiers can do much more easily. I feel like Marth's job here really is to protect Falcon, which he, which he just did not do. I would be salty if I was the Falcon player. The Falcon was playing very well. Well, walking into down smash will certainly help that. Not seeing any down tilts either in this neutral. It's like down tilt seems like it'd be really powerful against a lot of Sheik. Sheik's grounded approach options. Force her into the air and then try and maybe up up B or F tilt. I don't know if that's how you think that Marth would want to play the neutral. Well, I definitely think that Marth needs to... Uh, whoa! Or wait for an SD. That works too. Not Sheik. Marth took Falcon and Sheik took Sheik. So we have a bit of a sloppy end to game one, but we, I think we saw a lot of interesting dynamics with these certainly unconventional team choices. So game two could be a very wild ride for us. A very spicy ride, going by the tags. I smell food. So any particular stage you think the Sheiks will counterpick? Uh, well, honestly, Smashville is not a terrible Sheik stage. Any stage where Sheik can get people off stage and has lots of, where the edge of the stage is not terribly far from the side blast zones. I mean, honestly, Delfino wouldn't be bad. Though they elect for Congo, which is the opposite of what I just said. So this will be interesting. Maybe they... I actually feel like this is a counter pick in the other direction. Marth can use the slopes. The barrel will help you avoid offstage kills. And Sheik really struggles to kill in these large blast zones. But let's see if Red Team knows something we don't. Maybe, maybe their thought process is that they think that the other team likes to kill off the top of the screen or something, which I'm not sure is true. But if, you, if you're playing against a team that likes to kill off the top of the screen, this is a wonderful stage. Either that or maybe they just know these players and they know that they aren't all that comfortable on this stage regardless of uh, the matchup. Because sometimes it can be worth it to pick a stage that's subjectively bad for you just if you have a read on the player. So far, though, this seems to be working pretty well for the blue team. Those platforms are certainly helping uh, Falcon and Mark with the uh, with the up air game. Because Falcon was already living to 200. <laughs> I, I, I'm I rooting for a 300% here, aren't you? I want to I want to see Falcon just live forever. This Falcon has actually been ridiculously impressive throughout this entire double set. Okay, Falcon, I believe in you. You can survive. And there's that barrel I was talking about. He's just he's just waiting in the barrel as his teammate's getting wrecked. But Marth actually, he's only taken 46% this game. Marth is certainly playing very cautiously on this stage, but it's working out for him. There, there's some down tilt. Marth's down tilt is oh, pretty solid. Oh, read with that F smash. No 300% on that stock. That makes me sad. But that was the first stock loss for Blue Team, really showing how much the stage helps survival. Sheik has difficulty killing, so going to uh, the stage where it's most difficult to kill someone, I don't know how I feel about that counter pick. There goes the Sheik. And oh, this another is just Sheik. a heartbreaker for the red team here. I, uh, this counter pick, I think we can see, was definitely a mistake. It was a counter pick for the wrong team. It's like that little kid at the uh, in, in the junior basketball game that runs and scores on the other goal and then gets excited. You know, I don't know if it's all that bad because now they know. Sometimes you have to try things like this in tournament, and that's and half the battle. And even if it didn't work out for the red team, I commend them for doing this instead of picking a stage like, say, Smashville, maybe losing a close set, never knowing what would have happened. Though I feel like Smashville is a much better Sheik stage. <laughs> it is.
But see, now they know this happens again in the future. They won't do this. They might even ban this. Oh, well. Oh, for a second there, I thought Falcon was hitting. Why did I? I'm going cross-eyed. Sheik is making herself obnoxious right now for these two. Though I will Landing say that, that is kind blow. of the downside of doubles, is that it often has these lengthy lame duck periods. Like, it's not impossible for Sheik to win this, but it would take a miracle. There we go. And that was some loser's action, wasn't it? I, I believe so. that was elimination. Oh, 